how to load data out of a text file first I'm gonna create a text file and then I'm gonna write a program to load the data out of that text file into a rich edit so I'm gonna go right click new create a text document call it name.txt make sure your file extensions is on so that you can see the file extension I'm gonna open this text file and I'm going to add a few names in the text file James John and Jack I'm gonna save this this file close it and go to Delphi create a new application add a button and a reach it change the caption to load clear the reach edit okay so when I click on this button I want to load the content out of this text file into my reach edit so I'm gonna save this Delphi application in the same folder as my text file okay so I saved my text file in that folder text file and now I'm gonna save my Delphi application in the same folder okay I'm gonna have to create two variables I'm gonna make it local my file should be a text file then S line it's a string Okay, so next step I'm gonna test whether I can find that text file. So I'm gonna say if file exists remember this last S over here if it exists then in single quotation marks you need the name and the file extension of your text file I'm gonna copy mine if file exists is not true then I'm gonna show message file not found and I'm gonna exit okay so I'm gonna exit I'm not gonna run the rest of the coding so it's gonna stop the rest of the coding from ex being executed Okay, next step is assign file. So we can say assign file, assign file needs two parameters. I'm going to use my file and then the name of the file. So I'm going to say my file, comma, and then the name of the file. So it's going to assign the name doc txt to my variable which is a text file next one reset one parameter need to reset my file okay reset my file 
Okay, now I need to loop through my text file. So I'm going to say while not EOF, while not in the file. And as soon as I make the bracket, it's going to ask me for my variable. While it's not the end of that file, keep on repeating the code between the begin and the end. So we want to read a line out of my file and I want to put it into the variable s line and then I want to display that s line in my reach edit so it's reach edit lines dot add and I want to add s line in this reach edit Okay, and then when I'm done loading everything into my text file, I say close file. What file do I want to close? I want to close this my file. Oops. My file. Okay, so we need two variables. We're going to test for name.txt while it's not true. If it's not true, can't find it. We're going to show message file not found. And then we're going to exit. We're not going to run the rest of the coding because otherwise we're going to get some errors over there. And then I'm going to assign my uh, text file to my text variable. I'm going to res reset my file. Put the cursor at the beginning of the text file. And then I'm going to run through the text file line by line while it's not the end of the file. So it's read ln for read line. It's going to read one line out of my file and put it into the variable s line. Display it in s line. This will repeat until it reaches the end of the file. And then I'm going to close that file. I'm going to save. Let's test the coding. Click on load and then hopefully all these names will display in the reach edit okay so james john and jack this is displayed in the reach edit <coughs> 